Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Global Radio and TV Live, and I am your host, Dr. Ravi. The number to call is 469-307-1642-1642. I would like to thank our viewers in the United Kingdom. That is the number one spot for us, and also in the order of viewership in USA, India, Morocco, United Arab Emirates, Canada, Thailand, Japan, Ukraine, China, Korea, Pakistan, and Iraq. Well, if I haven't mentioned your country's name, you know what to do. Just shoot us an email. We will include you in that elite list. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know in this show we always talk about conspiracy theories and controversial topics. I, as a scientist, would like to make sure that all controversies and conspiracy theories have a scientific basis. Now, one of the subject matter that fits nicely into scientific analysis is music. But in this show, we also discussed various other subject matters like existence of God. You know, some people say there is a controversy about God. And aliens, not the illegal aliens, the real aliens coming from the outer space. And the JFK assassination. You know, I am from Dallas. People think that uh, JFK is still alive, like Elvis is still alive. So we don't know. We will find out. And most important of, of all, the national debt. Now, we have a show coming up. The guys are telling me that the national debt is good for America. Now, I don't know how that's going to go out. Uh, anyway, th we will discuss all those controversial topics. You know, there is always extreme skeptics and also firm believers. So... That is the show, Global Radio and TV Live. Today our topic is a departure from the usual routine. We have a special guest who is a singer, songwriter, and an entrepreneur with a man of many talents. Our featured guest is 5X, a rapper, now originally from uh, uh, Jamaica, New York area. When he was 13 years old, he came to this country. And uh, his signature music is branded as 5X Genesis. 5X. Welcome to Global Radio on TV Live. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Ravi, man. I really appreciate you having me on the show, man. I really appreciate this opportunity to talk to the people about my music. And, you know, I'm so grateful you have me on your show. Yeah, no problem. You know, it's a, it's a great pleasure to have you on board. Well, uh, let me ask you this question. Um, when did you get interested? You know, you said you came here, came to U.S. You know, I came to U.S. when I was 25 years old. By the way, too old for coming to U.S., by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so you came when you were 13 years old? Yes, I, I came to this country when I was 13 years old. And, you know, the well, the country that I come from, it's not as great as, you know, as U.S., as New York. You know, there's a lot of things that, that this country has to offer that, you know, where I'm from, we don't get those, you know, we don't get those things that, that we can get in U.S., so... You know, it's it's a lot more about freedom, about you know, about just being normal humans. You know, it's it's a, you know, this country lets you be yourself. So okay, yeah. well, since uh, you said you came, let's find out where you came from because our audience would like to know where yes. you come from. Yes, so I'm originally from Karachi, Pakistan. Okay, that's that's my birthplace. That I was born in Karachi. Um, we you know we had a lot of rough times. We had to get out of that country, and you know. And we made that move, and we, we came to New wait, York, wait, you know, thank God, you know, you, everything what, worked out really good. What type I, of rough time are we talking about? Yeah, I, we, we faced a lot of rough time. Uh, well, I mean, I, I don't want to go in details, but I'll tell you a little something about it. So my parents, they separated when I was only three years old. And, you know, we you know, we were in the streets. We were pretty much living in the streets. We, I, 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 well, me and my family, we spent at least a week or two weeks in the streets. So, you know, and, and like being a single parent in my country, and especially if you're a mother, it's really hard to, you know, to raise three kids. I have an older brother and an older sister, so I have two siblings. And, you know, it's really, it's really hard to just raise three kids by, by yourself. And, you know, and nothing is given in my country. So you have to just, you know, strive for a struggle and just make sure you get to that point. And, you know, we, we, we made our way to U.S., to New York. And we struggled a lot through those rough times. And, you know, I'm happy to be here. And it's a God's blessing. And, you know, everything is going great. 
And, you know, I cannot thank God any more than this. You know, I just really appreciate his blessings. Well, you know, that is very interesting because I also came from India, your neighboring country. Yes. Uh, about, yep. uh, you know, it looks like... We're neighbors. We, <laughs> we are neighbors, right. You <laughs> yes. know, it looks like, you know, the, the, the politicians are making it very hard over there between India and Pakistan. Whereas uh, all the Pakistani friends I met in this country, they were so cordial and nice. And I hope it is vice versa for you when you meet an Indian. Yes. Good, very good. Now, let's let's get to our show here. Uh, now, now we got all that background taken out of there. Uh, let's go, come back to the most important question I have. Uh, you came here and then you see all this uh, incredible you know, life that is uh, opening up in front of you. Uh, how did you get interested in uh, rap music? All right, so, well, I mean, when I, when I first came to U.S., I remember going to a Hillcrest High School. Um, that's on Parsons Boulevard and Hillside Avenue. It's right off uh, Jamaica, Queens. So, I mean, that, that, that school is, it's an infamous school. It's very, like, you know, back then when I was going to school, I'm talking about 2001, 2002. My freshman year, I mean, my second week of the school, I actually got jumped by a few uh, gang members. Uh, you know, they had a gun on them and everything. So, you know, it was, it was very, like, you know, very, very disturbing rough. at the moment because I wasn't expecting something like that, you know, on my arrival to U.S., you know, like second week of my school and I'm, you know, getting in trouble. So it was really, you know, it was it, it was some hard times. But then, you know, I'll, I'm, you know, I'm never scared, you know, because I, I come from play. I come from 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 a country where, you know, like guns are usual. Like you see guns in the streets every day. So it wasn't a big deal for me seeing a gun. But my mom, she my mother, she was scared and she made me switch schools. So I started going to a different high school, um, which is located in Astoria. It's actually in Long Island City, uh, Queens, New York. And that's that's where actually it all started. I actually met one of my good friends. His name is his rap name is AMC, and you know he had a recording studio as well. So what we used to do is we were into music from the you know from from our freshman year. We just used to listen to a lot of music, a lot of genres. You know it doesn't have to be rap. You know we used to listen to rock and roll, everything. And you know I decided that I wanna I wanna do you know I wanna write rhymes. I wanna write poems. So you know. That's how it all started, you know, in high school year, uh, in my freshman year, I was just in the back of the English class, just writing rhymes and just, you know, pretty much, I wasn't serious about it, but I would say like really, really like I really wanted to do this album. I really wanted to put my music out in 2012. That's when I just recovered from, from the loss of my grandmother. She passed away in 2007 and she was the, she's actually the reason why I'm, I'm here because my mother used to work overseas. And my grandmother used to take care of me, you know. I was really young and, you know, I was really close to my grandmother. And when she passed away, it just kind of hit me. And, you know, I felt like, you know, I have to do something with my life. I have to get out there. And, you know, that just motivated me. I, I'd stopped for a little bit from 2007 to 2012. I was just in a in a shock. You know, I lost my grandmother. And, you know, it took me, a, it took me three, four years to recover from it. But when I recovered from it, that's when I felt like, you know, I'm a musician, I'm a rapper, I'm a singer, I'm a ghostwriter, I write rhymes, I make beats, I make instrumentals. And, you know, I was ready to put out my album in 2012, but for some personal issues, personal reasons, I couldn't put it out. And, you know, I'm glad I didn't put it out in 2012 because what I have right now is way much better than what I had in 2012. So um, speaking of it, I would say, you know, Really, like, I, I really became a musician in 2012. That's when I really okay. started taking it serious. All right. Before we go any further, let's listen to first one of yours. It's called I, When I Am Gone. Ladies and gentlemen, here is uh, 5X. Enjoy, guys. Yeah. Hey, yo. Listen up. Uh. Face behind the blaze, eyes 
discover red behind them shades Blunt so long it could last for days Took another hit and he flew away Different world to a different place Met a marshmallow with a curvy vase Skin so hot he calls a burning race Feeling his face, she's still on those J's Together they travel to Milky Ways Speeding so fast like they're in a race Trying to terminate the power of grace And trying to activate like this next phase Yo, I'm standing on the Earth's magnetic field Staring at the cosmos, see it clear Sides my creator, have no fear Rest in peace, my brother wants for real Can you feel the power? This the Eddie Bauer As it rains down on the hood of the fallen towers Come with me, if you wanna go I can take you there to a better place Just hold my hand as I pull you from the dark clouds To the brighter side of the universe Of this universe Follow me, follow me, follow my lead Come on I'll be back Tell them, tell them that Cause when I'm gone Then I'm, when I'm gone Coming back I'm coming, coming back Come in Great music. I, this is uh, very, very good. You know, this music, when I am gone, when did you write this? Is this the latest one or the early part well, or is it in the middle? Well, that's actually the outro of my album. That's the last song on the album. And to be honest with you, I actually wrote this like in the middle of the in the middle of the album while I was writing the while I was writing maybe the seventh or the eighth song on the album. So I automatically something just clicked in my head. I I heard the beat and I was like, damn, this beat just just gives me ideas to write about things. So I just stopped everything that I was doing. You know, I was writing actually on my mind that time, and I actually stopped my my process with the on my mind and I actually jumped on this beat and I started writing about you know about different stuff on this beat and you know I actually like this song a lot. It's one of my favorite favorite songs on the on the album is the outro because it has little meaning to it and you know i always always like doing meaningful songs something that has a message and you know i really like this song and oh, hopefully that, people uh, enjoy yeah it's a great song well one of my idol when it comes to rap music is uh, tupac shakur tupac shakur that's my biggest inspiration actually to be honest with you that's okay that's tell that's it, the first it. rap i actually started listening to when i when i was in high school and that's that that's the guy who actually gave me inspiration to write because when i listen to his stuff and i feel so like you know i feel in a different world because he's talking about stuff that's actually real and you know whatever he talks about whatever he talked about it was really really like touching stuff you know like he had a song about about ladies you know he was telling about like you know how um you, you know how we should respect our ladies and you know that song actually hit me a lot because it kind of you know, kind of remind me of my situation, uh -huh. you know, with my family. And, you know, it was just, I could relate to that guy. Like, I could listen to his music right now. I could relate to him because, you know, that's something that gives me inspiration to write. I can listen to Tupac music. I can listen to Nas music. And it's just, it's so touching. The stuff is so touching. It, gives, it inspires you to write something as well. So, you know, it, that's, Tupac is one of the biggest names in, in rap. That's okay. for sure. Very good. You know, Tupac, you know, I, I listen to all his songs. I have a collection. Very soon, I hope to have a collection of 5X. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, the next question is, the other song, the next song I'm going to play, uh, let's listen to this song. It's called uh, For Forever Love. Forever Love, yes. Yeah. So let's, let's listen to this and uh, let, let's see how this goes. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to 5X, and who is going to be as famous as Tupac very soon. We wish them all the best. <laughs> Let's listen to this. Enjoy, guys. Forever love. She will hold the key Only love that I know is free She holds me down like a sample on a beat Apple on a tree, sample on a beat Me and her, we like a perfect match I fucks with her from my way back And I made back, shorty laid back Listen to this music, the way we do it No one can do it, I can prove it Yeah, shoot for her, I'ma kill for her If worse comes to worse, give my life for her I'ma die for her like big and pop Know that I'm a clock, we don't 
stop on Vegas trips to shopping sprees I rip the mic, she kills the beat She plays on my head like a melody For all my pain, she's the remedy A big fat blonde with some Hennessy I blow these trees in a memory I'm talking about music, no melody I'm Hercules when I'm killing these beats hey. Unbreakable, together we become incredible I'm making these songs rememberable She's making these rhymes unblockable Artistic skills, unlockable And when we in a booth, it's a magical Like a carnival, like a semi-automatic, it's a clockable Remarkable, busting this law, unbeatable Smoking on the real good tropical Damn, my pop gets recharged Nice Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Global Radio and TV Live You are listening to our famous rapper if he's not already famous, he's going to be 5X. 5X, welcome back to our second segment. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you, Dr. Ravi. All right, no problem. Please call me Ravi. Um, okay, great. And now, there are two, th- two questions I want to ask you. Number one, who is the lady that is singing at the, who is opening the song there for, okay. for our love? Really, 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 really great question, Ravi. Now, that's something <laughs> I don't even know myself. Now, this is the instrumental that actually purchased from a website it's called soundclick.com and they have a whole bunch of producers over there who are selling instrumentals and beats and samples so i accidentally ran into it and you know fortunately i ran into this producer and i actually heard this um instrumental and it had a sample on it that's the sample that we're talking about and I actually just purchased the beat with the sample on it, and it didn't say exactly the name of the artist who was who was singing that chorus. Um, so that's something that I'm trying to find out myself too, Ravi. You be the first one I'll let you know, all right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's interesting because I did not know that you can actually buy some sample and then incorporate that sample into your music. Yes, that's okay. actually that's something that I do as well. So I collect samples. And I make my own instrumentals. I have a drum sampler. It's called Roland MC808. I remember and that. It's it's really nice because you actually can take samples from different people, like the choruses and stuff. Uh-huh. And you can make a beat and you can use their sample. And you can just create a beat and it, it, it works. You know, it really works. If you look at Kanye West, most of his songs, most of his instrumentals that he makes, he has a lot of samples that he used from different, you know, artists who are singing and stuff like that. So... It's it's something that yeah, right now it's 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 in trend. A lot of people doing that. So. Now, do you write your own music? I do write my own Writing. music. Every song that's on this L uh, on this EP, it's written by me. Uh, it's recorded by me, so I'm all original. Uh, only thing is that I do make instrumentals, but at this point, I just kind of felt like I should use other producers, because you know, I do want to use my own instrumentals, but you know, I want to save that for the LP, which is the main album that's going to come out hopefully next year beginning of next year we're going to talk about it more later but uh yeah so that's that's uh you know you can find producers at this website anyways i just want to tell uh tell the audience as well if somebody who's rapping or somebody who's singing mm-hmm. and they're looking for instrumentals that's a great website to get music from you know like empty samples empty beats it's called www.soundclick.com so you guys should check it out if you're into rapping or singing. Um, they have a variety of beats that you can pick from. Tons of producers with great stuff. And that's where I got all my beats from. And I do write my own songs, you know. Now, the next next one that we are going to play, Blizzard, Feed, AMC. Yes. Uh, that particular song, did you also use uh, sources from other, so other uh, uh, musical notes? Yes, so this beat, this actually the, the instrumental that we're going to be rapping on, it's actually purchased by All Rounder Production Beats. They're located in United States. I don't know. I'm not too sure exactly which state they're located in. But it's a, it's a, it's a, he's a producer who makes beats. I think he has a whole crew that, you know, works with him. He's really good at it. You know, shout outs to All Rounder Beats. And... The, the songs are the 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 lyrics is it's mine it's my lyrics mm-hmm. and mc is my friend as i told you i met him in high school and we started this rap stuff together so you know i had to get him on my album 
even though he don't rap in English, he raps in Russian, but I just want to have him on my, you know, on my EP because I know the guy for a long time, and that's the guy I started rapping with, so it's only right that I have him on my on my album. All right, and so he sounds actually really good. Let's listen to Blizzard Food AMC. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Ravi, I have to I have to provide you a edited version, the clean radio version. I'm so sorry. No, know? no problem. By the way, this is an adult program. Uh, all four letter, five letter, and three letter words are welcome here. <laughs> Great. Man. Okay, Thanks. so so don't have to worry about. Uh, don't worry. Our audience are mature people, and they are they are used to listen to all kinds of different music, words, and everything else. We used to have fights in the show where people were on on each <laughs> That's other's throat. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway no problem uh, the radio version you know th this is a this is really the internet radio so we don't have that much restriction now that particular song the your friend amc he is singing in russian and you are singing in english yes okay so because i uh, have the thing i didn't understand <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, only the english part i understood so then i realized yeah, well, that w that was the whole point of it because to be honest with you i'm not only looking to just you know get my name out here in us i'm also looking to you know get my name out like internationally you know i want to i want to be i want to be known in russia i want to be known in france i want to be known in spain i want to be known you know all around the world not only in us so you know i have to do international projects like on my next album i'm going to have a french rapper so it's just like you know i'm i'm going to i'm going to move accordingly and you know i'm not going to do what everybody else is doing so i want to do something different so that that's, that was one of the point why why i actually did this song is because it sounds different it doesn't sound like what everybody else is doing at the moment so absolutely some, yeah uh, when you when you have your french rapper come in and we would like to invite you to come live with your other friend perhaps you guys can play live music on the show is it possible of course Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. So uh, let's let's make a date on that. Uh, you know, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great, man. I'm looking forward to that because you you look like a cool person, man. You look like a person I could talk to for hours and like, not get tired. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, you know, sometimes uh, you go on the shows. So hopefully, uh, they don't make you tired after five minutes. Uh, hey, wait a minute. I don't want to talk to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, you actually you 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 sound like somebody I can talk to. You know. Yeah. Very good. See, now we are going to go on to the next. One. The next okay, one great. is um, on my mind, uh, produced yes. by it says Cinema Beats. Uh, now Cinema Beats is has a different spelling there, so I found that fascinating. Uh, who is Cinema Beats, and uh, did you sing in this? You, uh, tell us about this uh, on my mind song. 
All right, so Cinema Beats, it's, it's, as I said before, is that, that, is that website called soundclick.com, and there's so many producers out there, and that's actually one of my favorite producers to work with, Cinema Beats, that he's actually, he provides me with beats that actually, you know, fits in with my lyrics, and I really like his stuff because it's very musical. It's not only, like, drum lines or, you know, or just some other instrument. He, he uses so many instruments and he combines them together, and it just becomes like a musical journey, you know, it sounds so good. So I love this guy, Cinema Beats, he makes great beats, and a little about this, little about this song, it's, the song is based on my people, my friends, everybody, you know, that, that I actually hang out with, and everybody who believes in me, you know, uh, I came to the point where, you know, like, people were asking me, my friends were asking me, yo, you gonna you gonna you gonna you know are you gonna release your album? What's gonna happen? Are you gonna do it? Are you not gonna do it? So this song I actually did I dedicate this song to all my friends, to all the all the all the people that I hang out with, and all the people who believe in me. That's this is the song that I wrote for them. So that's that's on my mind. Oh, I see. I I did not know actually you can get the many of the work done by others. You yes. Know, basically, you are outsourcing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, here it comes uh, on my mind. Every day it plays on my mind. Every day it plays on my mind. Hey, yo. Wake up every morning with the same thing on my mind I'm trying to get this paper when I finish blazing a dime Paulo with the Gator matches Calvin Bailey nines I'm fresher than a blue sky, there's matrix in my rhymes Search but you'll never find another me Product of the dime, read all my homies trying Read 20 niggas rolling deep, occupy the fucking streets Jordan's up for 40 feet, the reason why we form a lead Cause all we do is succeed So open up your minds and follow my lead We hotter than 100 degrees Flow so cold might give you a brain freeze Cheer, I shine, they shine They shine, I shine Partner, this is how we do it Be the motherfucking truest For you haters, we the cruelest Next generation rulers Woo! the times and I never had no money Reebok running shoes with the dirty white tee, it's good to have a brother in times you feel bummy but all my niggas know, I don't ask for help, even when I'm broke I guess it's just my pride, trying to make music my pride, that's how I got me catching the flight, in search of my tribe, got my niggas behind, yup, follow our steps and we can lead you to heaven, I've been breaking the law since I was 11 yo, fake ass bitches keep on selling my melon, devil's trying to buy my soul but I'm not really selling well, ladies and gentlemen, that was fantastic music. And uh, 5X, welcome back. Hey, hey, Robbie, thanks, man. Thanks for playing my songs. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, I really no, appreciate no, this. No problem. Now, you see, in that particular song, now, this is a social aspect of, uh, uh, you know, in, in the social aspect of uh, dealing with uh, other races and groups and groups of people. One of the things you know very well in this country, you know, a Polish man can make jokes about Polish, you know, <laughs> yes. Polish people. A black man can make jokes about blacks. The Indians yeah. can, but uh, you know when uh, when somebody who is uh, not a black man and uh, who is going to use an N word yes. in his song, now yes. explain to our audience how did you get the courage to do it? Okay, so as I said before, you know I went to I, I, I go I, I went to a high school in New York City. You know I I started my high school when I was 13 years old, actually or close to 14 my freshman year. All the people I hung out with, most of them were black and Spanish. And uh, it was just a common thing, you know, it's just not like, a, I mean, it's not a, like to our, to my point, it's not like, and the people that I hang out with, they understand, it's not a racist thing when, when I say the N word, because that's, that's, that's just how we talk to each other in New York, you know, all, all my friends, we talk to each other like this, and, and, you know, it's just like, uh, 
it's like you like it's like me calling my friend like what's up brother so i'm calling him what's up the n word and he don't mind i don't mind cuz he knows i'm from the streets he knows that that i was you know i was out there hanging out with you know with, with the kids who use these words and you know so me like having courage for it and doing it is and and the other thing i wanted to tell you was you look at it i'm not you know my skin color is is not white and i'm very close to being black i mean i'm not black but it's more of a black than more than white so you know i don't think any should anybody should have problems with that because this is something that this is a slang i do rap i mean i rap so that's part of rapping you know it, it's part of slang it's part of hip hop culture and if they cannot accept that then you know oh well i mean you know that's something that i grew up doing so i'm not going to stop doing it because somebody has a problem with it you know so that's uh that's something i i just wanted to tell you i wanted to tell my audience as well that that's something that when you grow up in new york city and when you when you go to high school and when you go to um you know when you go to a college in new york city it's just very common it's is this is going to slip out of your mouth and you know it's it's just that's 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 just how it is you know well you know everybody nowadays want to be politically correct now for example if my if i say the n word in among a group of black people probably i will get beaten up because they probably don't identify me with them because hey this is dr ravi what the hell is talking like this <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know it's it, it all depends on the image as well so like the image you put out so if i walk out in the streets and i have my hoodie on and i have my sweatpants on i have my jordans on and i could just go in the streets and i could talk to people like i look hip hop i am hip hop so when i go to people and i talk to them and if i even say an word they don't mind it they i mean if somebody minds it and they tell me why you said it i i i explain them why i said it and the reason why i said it is because this is the culture this is what i grew up doing so that's something that i won't like i don't i hate changing for people you know i don't i don't like ch- changing myself for somebody else so if somebody else has a problem with me saying something then you know well deal with it you know because i'm not going to change because they want me to change that's something that i grew up doing it and you know it's it's like you know you know uh, right. i don't i don't know what else to say because this I is a part it. of part of hip hop this is culture this is hip hop culture this is slang hip hop slang and this word is in it now most of the white rappers out there they don't use this word because i understand why they don't use this word because it's it's kind of racist thing but with my skin color i'm not i'm not You're i'm not, not a caucasian okay. american i'm not i'm not a i'm not a caucasian person so Got it. and i go up to a black person and i tell them the n word they don't take it as serious as they would take it from a white person so it's right. just um it, it, it's just your image the way you put it out and you know everybody knows that you know i i'm you know i rap so it's it's just part of rapping and you no know problem. if somebody has a problem with it i'm not i'm not trying to be racist i'm not trying to say it in a racist way it's just is just part of slang that's what we do that's that's how I grew up listening to that word people call me n word and you know i'm not i'm not you are not worried all, so it's all right, not listen. a racist thing out um, here in 5x we have uh, we have uh, you know you like uh, tupac and i like tupac this show is yes. not complete at least we play one minute of one of his songs yes all i would right. love i would love to do that you i would know, love to hear you know the song that he played which i like the best is the hit him up I ain't yes. got no motherfucking Swap, friend. Your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Nice. West side, bad boy killers. You know who the realest is. Nigga, we bring it too. <laughs> That's right. First off, fuck your bitch and then click you claim. West side, we'll be right coming quick with game. You claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. We bust some bad boys, niggas fuck for life. Plus puffy trying to see me weak. Hearts are ripped. Biggie Smalls and Jimmy Mafia, some mark ass bitches. We keep on coming while we running for the Jews. Steady gunning, we gon' bustin' at the booze. You know the rules. Little Caesar, go ask your homie how I leave you. Cut your young ass up for you in pieces. Now be the cease. Lil' Kim, the fuck around with real G's. Quick to snatch your ugly ass off the streets. So fuck peace. I let them niggas know it's on for life. Don't let the west side ride tonight. <laughs> Bad boys murdered on wax and kill. Fuck with me and get your gas pill. You know, see, grab your glass when you see Tupac. Call the cops when you see Tupac. Uh, who shot me? But your punks didn't. I love this song man. Yeah. Hit him up. That's one of my favorite this song actually. That's when he was dissing Biggie Smalls. But you know, I would love to hear Tupac version cuz the the rap that you played is Tupac lyrics and Tupac beat, but the guy who was rapping is not Tupac. So Really? <laughs> it's not Tupac? 
it's not Tupac because I, you know, I have Tupac's voice in my head. I, I can recognize Tupac in like just a snap of a finger, you know. Oh, that's, 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 I didn't know that. But, okay, I just, I just picked, I picked it song. out of. I just picked it out of the iTunes. And yeah, this is the one there's a lot of lot of uh, people who, who do that. You know, they remake songs and stuff. But I love this song. You know, I, I really get a lot of inspiration from this song because, you know, I've been in my life where a lot of people were dissing me, a lot of people were putting me down, and when I hear this song, it's just, you know, it gives me that motivation that you know I'm above them. You know, I'm above whoever is hating or whoever is dissing me. So this song is very, uh, very, to you. very, uh, okay, very catchy. All right, now see, we, we there is only we have about five minutes left, say so actually. So okay. What we have to do next is we are we are we have one other song, "Fall Silently" is the last si- song that we are going to play. Before that, you need to tell our audience what is you what is in the future for you. Where are where can they find the songs? I know they can find them on the YouTube, but do you are you working on the album? Yes. So, well, I'm. To be honest with you, Ravi, I've been so busy this last week. I'm getting so many phone calls. I'm not even making this stuff up. I had like four or five interviews last week. I was on the air. Um, I have people hitting me up, asking me to stop by the radio station. You know, um, I have a photo shoot coming up this week. Um, I don't want to go in details about my sponsorships. I did get a sponsorship from a very big clothing company in, in Asia somewhere. So that's I'm looking forward to that as well. And, you know, things are going great, man. I mean, everything is looking, you know, good. And if people want to hear my music, it's uh, it's on YouTube. And I will have a, a downloadable link, like, where you can download the full EP. And as far as it goes for e, uh, for LP, which is the main album, which, which will have 28 songs on the album, that will come out probably next year. I'm not too sure exactly what, what date, which date, and when. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so if you want to hear my mixtape or if you want to hear my songs, if, you know, it's all on YouTube. The main the main page where you can find me is Facebook because right now, at, at the moment, we're working on my website and we're making a new website. It's, it's going to take a little while, probably like a week or two. Um, you know, I'm adding a lot of stuff to it. So in the meanwhile, my main website is Facebook, which is www.facebook.com forward slash in letters, you have to write down F. I V E X Genesis. Once you type that in, hit enter, and it's going to take you directly to my page. Make sure you give me a like. If you give me a like, you get to see all my pictures. You get to hear all the music. I have six free downloads on my Facebook page. So you can actually download six songs for free that's available right now. So that's something you'll get if you give me a like on Facebook. So, you know, I'm trying to get as much support as I can. And, you know, if people will support my music, they will hear more music from me. And you know I'm that type of artist. I'm 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 that artist who don't go like if I put out an EP right now and if I don't see a support from nobody supporting like the way I want it to be, and you know I know I believe in myself that I can do really really good music. I can make good music, and people are not supporting. I'm not I'm not looking to put out albums. Like I'm not gonna put out like three more albums or four more albums. So this is gonna be a stop for me if if I don't get the response that I'm looking from from this EP and from the LP, uh, if eventually I will stop doing music because that's something I'm going to keep it for myself. I'm not going to start leaking it because if, you know, if people not feeling my music, I, I'm not going to keep giving them that's something they don't feel. Okay. So that's uh, one thing. All right, listen, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to 5X. He's a great singer and songwriter. And uh, what is what we found out fascinating about 5X is that he was able to outsource some of the harmony music and he bought those music from outside. So he was not wasting time and effort on trying to put his own team together, which I'm sure he will do it in the very near future because all great musicians have to have their own group. You can actually find all his songs from uh, uh, Facebook, facebook.com forward slash 5X. You have to type the word 5, F-I-V-E-X, F-I-V-E-X genesis.com and you can download all five songs from there and also ladies and gentlemen the songs that you're going to listen the last one and also all the songs you heard so far i downloaded them from the facebook that's how i got Thanks, those sir. so you can you can find them you know he's not giving you a story it is a fact <laughs> thank you thank you so much Ravi. <laughs> all right most welcome so ladies and gentlemen we are going to listen to this last song for a couple of minutes and then we will close the show and uh, 
uh, 5x please stay on the line for a couple of more minutes and then gotcha. I, I would like to talk to you very briefly after the show now, ladies and gentlemen you are listening to global radio and tv live and i am your host dr ravi the number to call 469-307-1642-1642 here's the last song that i downloaded which is called fall silently ladies and gentlemen thank you everybody yes most welcome 5x here it is